everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to freshen up your look and your day. So if you wanna learn how to do this, then keep watching. To start off my mornings, I usually like to take a nice long hot shower or if I did that the night before, I'll just wash my face like I did today. And um, using something different in my skincare, just trying it out. This is the Pure Leaves Pure Delicate Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Just to wash away the dirt and soothe the skin and tone it up a bit. And then I just gently pat my skin dry. And lately I've been using the Peter Lamas facial moisturizer which has been working amazing um, I'm really liking how it makes my skin feel afterwards just very hydrated and soft to hydrate my body I'm using the Gilcrest and Soames body lotion it's a rich formula and it's very fast drying which is awesome it has emollients to heal and protect your skin and then for my hair I'm using the sexy hair soy renewal uh, cream oil. It's pretty lightweight. You can use it before blow drying to add like a shine to your hair But it also removes any kind of frizzies. So I'm just putting that into my hair before I style it To refresh my style I'm choosing a piece that I wouldn't find myself wearing usually but pairing it with something that I would just to mix it up a bit and I'm choosing from these pieces from Hope's Couture. The first is a midi skirt with a mini skirt on the inside which is really cute and flirty. And then I have this black lace crop top which is really cute um, by itself if you're feeling a little bit risque that day or over a cute camisole. And then I have this pretty high-waisted lotus flower pencil skirt. I decided to go with this one and this is how I styled it. And to refresh my mind, sometimes taking a walk can help clear your thoughts. Or maybe taking a drive by yourself to refresh your mind and even changing up your music for the drive can be really soothing. Now it's time to freshen up your makeup. So I found another under eye brightener. This came in my Ipsy Glam Bag. It's called Lashem and it's a 3-in-1 eye brightener. And it's supposed to diminish your dark circles and fine lines, so let's try this out. Anything that brightens or lifts your under eyes, I'm all for it. I'll try it. It has like a cooling effect to it. To even out my complexion, I'm using the Cargo CC Cream and it adjusts to your complexion. I got the medium shade, but I think it does a great job at evening everything out, giving me a nice complexion boost. I'm not going to lie, when I first tried this, I was like, what is this stuff? It's whitish gray and it's weird, but it actually turns into a nice shade of color and decreased the visibility of my hyperpigmentation. So I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. So this is great for one of those lighter makeup days when you want a nice even skin tone. To cover my under eye circles, I'm going to use the Evelyn Iona Concealer. It's going to help moisturize and soften up your lines if you have any. And also hide imperfection, any imperfections that you have. I usually just put it right underneath my under eyes. The brush that I'm using is from Crown Brush and it's C224. And it's good for applying concealer or just applying cream shadows. So I'm just going to keep this right underneath my eyes. Any blemishes that I have, I'll just use a darker concealer. For the brows today, I'm using the Benefits Browsing. It's a pigmented wax, so it fills in those sparse areas and lays down the hairs right in place. And then the powder adds more coverage and mattifies to give your brows a natural full look. For the eyes, I'm picking up the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette and I'm picking up that peach fuzz color and I'm going to wash this color all over the lid. Next, I'm picking up the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm using the color Strapless to add a subtle depth into the crease and this is going to softly enhance our natural eye contour. 
For a pop of cool color, I'm going to take Strawberry Ice, which is a cool tone lavender color, and I'm going to apply it to the inner corners. Honestly, if you add a bit of water to this color, I feel like the color pigment would show through better, but still I thought it was a really nice fresh pop. Now I'm going to add a wing to my look. I feel like it just gives any eye look a sleek, flirty touch, which is my favorite look. And I usually start out from outwards, and then I work my way inwards, going thinner as I go in. Now I'm just going to apply a few coats of mascara and then pop on my favorite lashes. For my lashes, I'm going to use the SL Miss Glam Beauty Lashes, but these are my favorite ones. I'm going to use my um, Thrive Cosmetics Infinity, Infinity Lash Adhesive. This really makes your lashes stick all day. Kind of even hurts when you take it off, so this is a really intense glue, but it's my favorite one. To set my foundation, I'm going to put on the Urban Decay Medium Neutral um, Naked Skin Powder. I always find it better to set your foundation after you're done with your eye makeup in case you need to fix like your eyeliner or if you have fallout, you can just wipe it out. So now that I set my foundation, I always like to brighten up my under eyes. You guys know me. I'm using the Manic Adar Step 2. This is in C3. And I just get a smaller brush that fits perfectly under my eyes. This one is also from Manicadar, and just gonna brighten up this area. All right, so now I'm gonna do my contour really quick. Today I'm gonna use this MAC 109 brush to contour my face. Oh, you know what? I just got some new contours in, so I'm really excited to use them. They're from Too Faced, and they smell like chocolate. They're that uh, chocolate Soleil uh, bronzers. Let me show you cute. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. So I'm going to use this to contour today. For the highlight, I'm going to use this Too Faced Selfie TF No Filter Powder. And they're basically like filters for your face in real life. And there's Sunrise, Toasted, and Ethereal. I'm going to use Ethereal just because I have that purple going on in the center, I mean in the inner corners. I want to keep that vibe going, so I'm going to just place that on the tops of my cheekbones. Do I look ethereal yet? No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Putting a little sunrise on top of, <clears throat> sunrise on top of the ethereal. Just to give it more of a bright, brightening effect. Um, so let's, how, let's see how it works out for um, my Instagram pictures. For my lips, I'm gonna use this NYX um, lipstick in Little Susie. The NYX Butter Lipstick is very lightweight and it just melts into your lips and feels really soft. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to be featured on that side of my box, then go ahead and tweet or Instagram me. Um, if you do a photo or video edit of my video or my pictures, I will also post them right there for you guys to show you guys off, show you some love. And if you missed my last two videos, the boxes will be right there to check. So check it out. And if you haven't subscribed to my video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then be sure to subscribe to stay updated with my videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye dollies.